have met a lot of people who are well known and who are um, like presidents and prime ministers and I think it's very important to reach those people and to ask them that it is their responsibility to contribute to the field of education and consider it important and make it their top priority. So when I was meeting uh, President Obama, um, I shared two, three things with him. Number one was that um, the, the money that is spent on weapons and on guns and on wars, if that money is spent on education, it can really change the world. And the best way to fight against terrorism is to invest in education because And my message was very simple. I said that instead of uh, sending guns, send books. Instead of sending weapons, send teachers. So this was my simple message. And I said that these countries, the developed countries, they should start, start focusing on education. And this is how we are going to develop and go forward. Um, then the second was the drone attacks. Because um, in, when it comes to drone attacks, it is true that in drone attacks, two or three terrorists are being killed. But along with that, civilians are also targeted. And this, instead of, um, like terrorists are killed because of drone attacks, but terrorism is increased and terrorism spread more and more. So if the drone attacks continue, terrorism will spread. And more people will become terrorists because if a child's father is killed, that child can become a terrorist. So we need to find other solutions against terrorism. We need to focus on education, what kind of education we have, what kind of society we have. Do we give equal rights to every child? Why has this child become a terrorist? So we need to find all these issues and then try to find a, a peaceful solution for it. And so this was my message. And as well as I asked him, uh, my father was also there with me. So he also said that America should support democracy in Pakistan. And uh, we have a democratic government. And we are very fortunate. And we are very happy for that, that we have democracy and this is how we are going to become a developed country and uh, to achieve progress. And we asked him to support democracy in our country. We asked people at home to write in and say what they wanted to hear from you. And one of the interesting and, and most troubling points here is in that drone debate. Uh, Daryl Lee wrote in on Facebook and said, what do you say to those who respond the next shooting of a girl in Pakistan will be prevented because a terrorist was killed in a drone strike. Sorry, I did not get it. What do you say to the argument that those drone strikes and the yes. killings of these terrorists prevent the next act of terrorist violence, for instance, against a schoolgirl in Pakistan? Well, it is, as I already mentioned, that it is true that in drone strikes, terrorists are killed. But does it really stop terrorism? That is the question. So you can kill terrorists with drone attacks, but you cannot kill terrorism. Rather than spending all this money on these wars, on these military things, you should spend it on education. That is the best way to fight against ignorance, to fight against terrorism, and to fight against um, all these conflicts that we are facing today. So that's what I ask, that there is a lot of money being spent on these military activities. So if that money is spent off education, you will see a big change. And what did President Obama say to that message? <laughs> uh, I think answers are usually political, and um, but it was, <laughs> but the response was quite positive, and um, I'm hopeful that things will be done. And um, but when I when I was in Pakistan, and sometimes people used to ask me like, what do you say to the prime minister? I say I want the prime minister to make sure every child goes to school. But I'm I think the prime minister wouldn't be able to do it. So. I'm not going to request the prime ministers anymore. And I, when I grow up, I'll become a prime minister, and I'll bring the change. <laughs>